my students welcome back coming to the next concept in this uh, MIDI is the MIDI messages we are talking about the musical instrument digital interface so far I explained what exactly the musical instrument digital interface is and what are the components of MIDI system and hardware components of MIDI system now let's see what is this MIDI message so how the message will be communicating from one device to the another device i said mida is nothing but it's a protocol that enables computers synthesizers keyboards and other musical devices to communicate with each other so to communication some you had to pass some message so how you're going to pass the message from one uh, comp uh one device to the another device now let's see so mida messages are used by MIDI devices to communicate with each other. So whatever the device that holding this MIDI interface card, so that can able to transmit the message to different devices. The MIDI messages are very low bandwidth. So that's why we are preferring this MIDI rather than using this normal uh, digital audio. So this MIDI messages is having some commands like note on command, note off command and some other commands will be present so the note on command is nothing but which key has to be pressed which mida channel has to be selected so i said total 16 channels are there 16 channels in one card in one card a 16 channels are there so each channel explains what sound to be played so which mida channel has to be selected and that should be in three hexadecimal numbers will be there next note of command and another commands which program changes configures sounds to be played so these are the three different types of uh, MIDI messages that having the low bandwidth which is providing a low bandwidth so MIDI message includes a status bytes and up to two data bytes so it in includes status bytes and two data bytes so just remember that MIDI message includes status byte and up to two data bytes. So what the status byte contain? The status byte here, uh, it's a four bay, uh, it's a more significant bit. Let's take the status byte is one byte. If you take one byte, one byte, the more significant bit is set to one. This is a MSB. The more significant bit is set to one. I'm writing the status byte. The status byte is one of the uh, message that will be included in MIDI. So the complete MIDI message includes status bytes and two data bytes are there. So first let me explain about the status byte. In the status byte, the most significant bit of status byte is set to 1. The four low order bits, these are the four low ordered bits. 1, 2, 3, 4. The four low ordered bits identifies which channel it belongs. Which channel? Means what type of sound I need to be play. Means total 16 channels are present in MIGI. So which channel has to be selected? The 4 bits produce 16 possible channels. And still remaining 3 are there. Okay. Total 8 bits. So the first bit is the most significant bit. If it is a status byte, it has to be set 1. Otherwise it is 0. And the last 4 is indicates the which channel. And these 3 the three, three remaining bits identifies the message. Identify what message I need to be sent. Okay. The most significant bit of data byte is set to. So this is about the status byte. And let me talk about the data byte. In the data byte also the most significant bit is set to 1. Okay. So for most instruments. So whatever the instruments you are taking. A typical message might be. Uh, consist of note on note of and a velocity whatever the instrument you are taken if you want to communicate those instruments by using this MIDI interface a typical message has to be transferred from one device to another device it might be consisting of note on note of velocity note on is nothing but a key press so which consists of status byte and two data bytes so whatever i said if you want to send any message that message includes the status byte as well as the data bytes and a key release a velocity is often set to zero or ignored for consistency state sake we are taking this velocity 
Let me explain you a small example. This is a message, a stream of 10 bytes. It's a stream of 10 bytes I need to be transferred. It's a just a message. So how the MIDA message consists of? I want to transfer from one device to another device. So that is MIDA message. This MIDA message consists of status bytes, data byte, data byte. Because two data bytes are present. One status bytes and two data bytes. So this can be represented as note on, note number and note velocity. Okay. So this is a transmitting device and this is a synthesizer. So which is an MIDI uh, sound recorder. So this uh, MIDI component synthesizer. So the transmitting device sending the information that is a MIDI message through out pin. And this is in pin MIDI in. A message is transferring. So let's take this is a message. Okay, it's a 10 bit message. So the starting message is start bit and after complete sending all the message it's stop bit. Okay. Total 8 will be there. 8 bits. The status byte 8 bits will be there and start and stop bit will be there. So total includes 10 bits. 10 bits. This is completely 1 byte. This is 1 byte followed with start bit and stop bit. And this is a message travel, uh, transferring from transmitting device to the synthesizer. Okay. So this is just uh, how the message, MIDA messages will be there. The MIDA message includes the status bytes and two data bytes will be present. So in this way, the transmitting to the synthesizer, the message will be passing like this. It includes the status bytes and two data bytes, which consisting of a note on note number and note velocity information will be present on this uh, message. So in the next video, I'll explain what are the classifications of these MIDA messages. Thank you.